Hello Leo and welcome to my channel. My name is Tony and I'm about to do your moon messages reading and this time for the period uh, the messages are coming straight from the full moon in Pisces. It's a um, period for completion since we talk about Pisces but uh, for you Leos let's see what would be the most important energies for these two weeks a period of 10 till 25th of September so we're gonna look at Leo's energies for the full moon in Pisces from 10 till 25th of September so what works the best for the Leo sign what works against the Leo okay let's take this one and what the possible outcome might be okay let's take this one so Leo before I start with the reading I need to tell you that this is a general reading and it's at, at uh, this reading you can expect something to ring a bell to uh, point your intuition uh, or might not do any of those it's a general reading so take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest behind and the reading for the leo <laughs> it's wow <laughs> it's wow because you are going under a main transformative period and of course leos are uh, one of the four signs most affected by Uranus and Saturn transits from uh, actually 2020 up to now. It's two and a half years period that it's been quite, let's say, hard, transformative energies are on the shoulders of Leo right now. But for the time being of 10 till 25th of September, what you should know, Leo, that one way or another, being your true Leo, being your true self, being as strong as a Leo can be, is actually going to open the door to the door to prosperity, growth, new possibilities, and generally speaking, uh, good health, good opportunities in life, in love life, in business, and everything. You trusting in your heart, being the strongest version of you, being Leo, it's actually going to work the best for you. Leos never hide, they never mm, use other people as an excuse, they are go-getters, they are the ones that uh, always, you know, you can always uh, notice a Leo, you know, they have strong, bold presence. Uh, as the sun, you, your sign is basically uh, the sign of the sun, and the sun in that uh, in the human body controls the heart and we all know the Leo heart legends that when you know what is in your heart and that's the only thing the most important thing when you have it this is actually the link to get whatever you want like truly believing in the one heart's desire and this is the energy that is gonna lead you successfully through let's say second part of September or through the uh, Pisces full moon Full moons usually bring to your attention uh, some obstacles, some problems, some things that need your attention in order for you to close it, finish it and move on. And you're going to have all the energy being yourself, like being bold, being brave, being Leo, get and do whatever you want to do because you want so, you know, that's the energy. Like I am the Leo, I am in control, I am doing whatever it needs to be done and I'm succeeding in it very good start for this two weeks period and uh, what works against you is uh, staying in your comfort zone or um, just uh, stay in the material uh, side of things like these changes that you're undergoing being brave and um, you know uh, standing for your own self might not necessarily be in your comfort zone might not necessarily be you be you in a position of uh, you know the familiar in the position of uh you know the material the material comfort to do with it it might be completely different situation in which you actually need to abandon all these things like temporary uh 
don't think about the comfort that you have or the comfort zone that you might lose by chasing bravely whatever else but you might be pushed one way or another to leave your comfort zone and uh, act of discomfort let's put it this way or consciously know that uh, it's not the time to be comfortable cozy you know to plan many things but to shake things up but by the leo manner you know like the leos do like being the boss in your own life in your own situation and uh, of course this helps and leads to deeper more successful transformative uh, processes uh, as by the end of September, your growth actually is going to help your eternal sun to rise, uh, raise its rate upon you and so on. Like uh, what I try to say is that uh, you one way or another is going to support yourself for, for what you want the most and you will be leaving your comfort zone in this uh, um, two weeks period of the full moon in Pisces. You're going to complete things. Maybe you will understand uh, somewhere deeper inside of you that uh, mm, yes okay it was comfortable but was it uh, uh, you know uh, <laughs> was it moving forward at the same time if no is the answer then get even more uncomfortable you need to get of your security zone and from the material uh, comfort of things let's put it this way you need to put uh, uh, yourself uh, uh, as a wrecking ball like something that you know shake things up and changes everything for the better because this is what you're doing for the last two and a half years and you're gonna continue to do so at least till the spring of uh, 2023 when saturn is gonna leave your sign like before that you know this saturnian cycle is definitely going to transform you and uh, move away everything that it's no longer needed in your life uh and it's not serving your higher soul mission so have this in mind that uh, the, the difficulties that you experienced uh, for the last uh, uh, couple of years uh, are much more significant than some of you might think. And you being the boss in the situation right here and right now, especially for this time period, is going to improve the situation. This is a very important message for you because, you know, it's it's not the most comfortable uh two years for the Leos and you also have the influence of Uranus and all that so it's like I know what you what you're going through and uh, I hope you really find the courage to be the sun in your own life and light up uh, everything that needs uh, you know closure needs bigger brighter understanding and this is the key to your success in the end of September right before the new moon in Scorpio I hope this reading was helpful for you. If so, please leave a comment, like, share, and let me know how you feel. My name is Tony, and I'm going to see you in two weeks period for the new moon in Scorpio reading. Bye from me.